Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I've got brand new gameplay footage of the two maps that are next to be released in BF5, Lofoten and Provence. Now these are only available at the moment, I think in Squad Conquest at least, that's what we were playing here at the event. We got to play for around like an hour and a half or something rotating between both maps and in this footage there's also gameplay of three new weapons. This is one of them that you can see here. This is the Breda M1935. And as you just saw, it's a burst fire rifle for the assault class. You can put it in single fire mode. And to be honest, I think I had way more success when it was in single fire mode rather than burst. But I don't know why. The, oh, none of the guns had specializations on. So I didn't really get a chance to properly trick these bad boys out and this one here is the Panzerbusch 39 so this is the German version of the boys 80 I suppose it's their new anti-material rifle <laughs> I just completely blinged it out with gold and yeah it's a it's a one-shot kill to the chest within like I don't know exactly I assume it's a hundred meters or something maybe 75 something like that but there it is. It's like the German version of the boys AT basically. You can't ADS with it unless you are prone or like deployed with a bipod on something like this. Six times scope on it there. Nice little jump shot. It's alright. I mean, it's supposed to be good against vehicles too. Like better than the boys AT against vehicles I think. But there are no vehicles on this map. And on Provence, there's no vehicle that you can spawn in. But I was told by one of the developers that there's a car that you can build with fortifications. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I spent 20 minutes looking for the thing. I couldn't find it. Running around with my fortifications tool. It's, I don't know if it's like an Easter egg or whatever, but I didn't find it. So I'm sorry, guys. I let everyone down. I don't know if anyone found it, if anyone's got footage of it, but apparently you can build a car. It's probably one of those like sports cars or transport cars that you get in Firestorm. And if you haven't noticed, yes, this map does use a lot of assets from Firestorm. They got rid of the shark as well. I remember seeing a shark in the in the teaser trailer like a few months back. It's gone. Don't know what to do, man. I thought the shark was going to be there, like hanging on that thing right there. It's not there. Where, where's the shark dice? I don't know. But yeah, so it's 8v8, squad conquest, no vehicles, very infantry focused. And yeah, I mean, it it didn't inspire me. I have to be honest, neither of these maps actually really did anything for me. <laughs> I just felt like I was playing TDM or Domination. And in BF5, that just isn't really that fun. And there was no mention of the... 5v5 the competitive mode either so I don't know what's happened with that but I don't know this is what you get these are the next two maps I think Lofoten and Provence and I'll show you some Provence footage in a second but I've got this nice little tower here just shooting people in the leg yep one shot kill <laughs> here's Provence this is the trench carbine this is another one of the new weapons and I put three I think it's three times scope on it Blinged it out with gold, of course. Of course it did. Come on. It's got to be gold. But this is quite fun. It's a, it's a bit like the PO8 carbine. I think it's got more capacity. But it doesn't do as much damage. Something like that. If I recall correctly, I did have a quick look at the stats and kind of compared it. Yeah, a fun gun to run around with. This map's got a lot of fortifications on it. In sometimes really weird places like that don't really make sense. I mean, there's a couple of ladders that you can build to get up into the church here. If you want, like on the sides through the windows. But I didn't really find them that useful at all, to be honest. There's a lot of sandbags as well. It feels like at some point there was like a front lines version on this map where there was lots of pushing and, and defending based on how the fortifications look. But in Squad Conquest, you just don't build them. You just get this classic ring around a rosy effect. Here's the Panzerbusch again. I wanted to see what the empty reload was like. So if you empty everything in there and just keep firing, it just puts one in. But if you reload like that, 
it takes the box out and puts the new one back in. It's just a cool, cool animation. I mean, you can't go wrong with the animations. This is an interesting skin that's new, the figure head. And as you can see, it actually added like a, a mermaid to the front of the gun. Look at that. When I reload, you'll be able to see it better. Come on, Jack, reload, you idiot. There we go, look. Bloody mermaid. What's going on there? But, you know, that's the most interesting weapon skin I've seen in the game. Because <laughs> it's like physically changing the way the, the gun looks. But it is for the new gun, the Breda. Burst fire mode here. Well, we're playing in 4K, so if you want to watch it in 4K, you can. I think I'll definitely render this video in 4K. So you can see all the memes. It's strange because when I'm at home, I don't play in 4K. I'm usually playing at 1080p and 1440 on lower graphics. But, I mean, I can't fault the way that these maps look. Like, the visuals are incredible. The graphics are just off the chain, especially some of the foliage and the bricks and just the environments in general. But I have to say that the ambience of these levels was just dead. Like, there wasn't really anything going on in the sky, in the background. Not many ambient noises and... I just didn't feel that engaged with them at all. Like I said, it just felt like TDM. And I appreciate that these are two new maps and they're free, but they're so small and 8v8 only. Like, I felt that they were empty at times. I want more players on these maps. I don't think 32. I think that would be maybe a bit too much. Maybe like 24 players, something like that would be a good number. But 8v8 just felt empty at times. They're okay, I, I just... It doesn't add anything. Like, that's my problem with these two maps. Like, it doesn't... This isn't a new game mode. It's not... There, there isn't an experience to be had on these maps, right? It's just Lofoten Isles, which is very reminiscent of Firestorm because it uses a, a, a lot of the same assets. You can just see, right, from the way it looks. And then Provence, which again uses a lot of assets that are already in the game. Again, we've got... Another version of the church from Arras in another map. <laughs> it's a little bit different, but you walk in it and you're like, oh, it's the, uh, it's the church from Arras again. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too picky. I don't know, but there's no real experiences to be had with these maps. And it felt a bit hollow to me, to be honest with you. Just didn't, I don't know, just, I was playing it like, eh. <laughs> We need more from BF5. I think, first of all, they've really got to patch the game up and fix the bugs in the game. I'll turn the graphics down here, by the way, because the monitors we were playing on were 4K 60 hertz, and I felt like I was getting a load of input lag, so I just turned the graphics down a bit, and uh, it did run a bit better. Here's the church, as you can see. Yeah, it looks like the one from Arras. <laughs> yeah, there's no experience here. Nothing different, nothing new really, it's just a new location, and that's a shame, but yeah, I think what they need to do with the game now is concentrate on getting everything working and getting a stable groundwork before they start adding new content and new experiences. Obviously, we've got the Metro remake coming out, I'm guessing like October, private servers soon apparently, but I mean, we just, we haven't really heard anything about that. Uh, what else? I mean, Pacific. November, December time, I'd guess. And yeah, that's going to be cool. I hope that the Pacific is a bit of a renaissance for BF5 because I'm just assuming that they're going to go full battlefield with it and have ships and airplanes everywhere. Just go full combined arms and, you know, the thing that makes that makes Battlefield special. I want to see more of that. And there's three Pacific maps. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm hoping that they can get the game in a, a more stable state by then. Performance, of course, is key too. I don't know if you guys suffer with performance problems on console, but there's still so much stuttering on BF5 on PC. And it's inconsistent. Like, you have a smooth game, then you have a, a really bad game with stuttering. And then it just keeps getting worse until you restart your PC or something. And... It's just not, it's not a nice smooth experience. So they need to fix that up, fix the bugs, and then start thinking about, right, how can we change this? How can we add new experiences and keep things fresh and keep the players engaged? Because I just don't think these two maps are that interesting or appealing to the broad player base. Just my opinion. Yeah, it's cool to play on a couple of new maps, but you're not really getting anything revolutionary here. And that's a shame. Because I think 
people kind of want something new now and still no word on this 5v5 mode, whatever has happened to that. But there you go. There it is. That's all for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I don't know when these are coming out. I'm not sure if they've announced it. I expect soon TM. I'm going to go with soon TM for that one. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.